Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the recap from the Amazon Prime pay-per-view that was hosted by the PBC and headlined Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundora as they attempted to unify the super welterweight titles at 154 pounds um, in the main event. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So we are going to talk about the entire undercard um, and even the main event of the pre, you know, the pre-fight. Um, Elijah Garcia got knocked out of the, um, he had to pull out of the fight last minute. Uh, he was supposed to fight Kyron Davis. Um, he had to pull out. Hopefully that fight can still go through moving forward. And upgraded to the main event of the, the free card on Amazon was the Serhei Bohachuk versus Brian Mendoza vacant interim super welterweight championship of the world. And what I liked about this, even though it was a short notice fight, but this was part of the Zoo Fundora situation um, because uh, Bohachuk was supposed to fight uh, Sebastian Fundora. Um, for the vacant WBC title. So I like that they gave Brian Mendoza the opportunity to compete against Bohachuk, even though it was short notice, because Brian Mendoza never lost the interim title that he won from Fundora last year when he not brutally knocked him out in the seventh round. So yes, he lost to Tim Zhu, but the interim title was not on the line. And I always thought that was a little unfair that he didn't get the opportunity um, above Sebastian Fundora for the title. So this was his opportunity. He, you know, Brian Mendoza has got such a big heart, but Bohachuk proved himself in this one. Yes, he's got more to prove. Absolutely agree there. But he proved that he belongs in the conversation as he dominated Brian Mendoza over 12 one-sided rounds and became the WBC's interim champion now. So might be a while before he gets his shot, and he's definitely gonna get a uh, what's next video heading into, um, you know, or moving forward. And so will Brian Mendoza. Brian Mendoza, call him what you want. He's still a top 10 guy. Now he might drop significantly, you know, from this, but he's still a top 10 guy. You know, you have to give him that credit. And, um, you know, as the old saying goes, you give credit where credit is due. And Brian Mendoza is due credit and he, and he deserves to be a top 10 fighter um but sergey Bo bohachuk welcome to the party nice win for him he's a new wbc interim champion and in line to fight for the wbc title at some point now the main pay-per-view undercard you had julio cesar martinez successfully defended his flyweight title against uh, i think the guy's name was angelino or angelo cordova um i think he got a decision i didn't want you know uh, sadly, guys, I did not see the pay-per-view card. I got home too late. I didn't. I didn't feel like um, uh, spending seventy bucks to watch only half of the card live. I'm big on watching things live, but I went back and watched all the extended highlights and everything. Um, but I don't really follow the flyweights all that much, so I'm just giving you an update on on uh, Martinez. Um, but the fights that I, you know, that I do follow. Uh, Arizlandi Lara took on Australian Michael Zarafa, and man, what he just fucking blitz Michael Zarafa two rounds. Zarafa just got caught with a a wicked one two, uh, the left hand down the pipe just fucking uh, blasted Zarafa. Didn't know it hit him. Second round knockout victory for Arizlandi Lara as he retains the official uh, WBA middleweight title. I hope this means that for the first time in forever, we're actually going to fucking see him twice in one year, but we'll see what happens moving forward. But a, but a nice win for Lara on the undercard. The co-feature, Roly Romero against Isaac Cruz. At the You know, I picked Romero in this one, but at the very least, I was expecting like a, um, a better two-way action fight, and Roly Romero just could not. He got hurt early in the first round and could not keep the pit bull Cruz off of him. I mean, Cruz just came right at him, um, attacked him the entire way, um, broke him down, beat him up, 
and finally, uh, I believe it was in the eighth round, the referee stepped in and stopped the fight as Rowley just could not hang on. He just could not avoid getting hit. Isaac Cruz in his debut at 140 becomes the WBA junior welterweight champion of the world. Big time victory for him. He's now in the top 10 at 140 pounds. Rolly Romero, I, I thought the guy was overrated and personally I felt he was a joke. I, you know, he, he was gifted that title um, in that controversial uh, stoppage last year against Ishmael Barroso. He, and, you know, he some kind of medical uh, thing ca uh, caused him to avoid the mandatory obligation of fighting um, O'Hara Davies. Then Barroso goes and destroys Davies. And Roly Romero still avoids him by going and fighting, uh, avoiding his, you know, his mandatory obligation and took on a smaller Isaac Cruz. And Isaac Cruz absolutely destroyed, destroys him and uh, dominates him over eight rounds. Roly Romero will not get a um, what's next video. The, in my opinion, the dude is well overhyped. Um, he's been overhyped from day one. I never really got the hype on him. Um, and, you know, I'm glad he was exposed in this one. But my hat's off to Isaac Cruz. Um, you know, he might have got himself a rematch with Tank Davis from this victory. Or at least a big time fight moving forward um, following the win. We do know Ishmael Barroso is sitting out there as the mandatory number one contender. I don't know if the WBA will order that uh, rematch right there. Um, or will order that fight. But there's also the the option of him moving back down to 135. So we'll discuss all that when we do the what's next video on, on Isaac Cruz. But a big time win for him. Congrats. But the main event, Tim Zhu, Sebastian Fundora to unify the WBO and WBC super welterweight titles. Tim Zhu had the WBO title coming in. The, the WBC title was vacant. Sebastian Pandora was a top contender. He steps in on, I think it was 11 or 12 days notice um, after Keith Thurman, who was supposed to fight uh, Zhu in a non-title fight, after he had to bail out with an injury. And, um, you know, this big time matchup came to fruition between these two. And it was a, just a showdown. Um, and, you know, you don't expect these things. Uh, you know, Tim Zhu had busted. He basically broke um, Sebastian Fundora's nose in the first two rounds. And then an elbow landed on the top of Zhu's head that opened a bad cut that bled all into his face the rest of the fight. Um, Zhu gutted it out over 10 rounds with that blood, yeah, blood in his face, but um, Sebastian Fundora peppered him with the jab, outworked him. The further the, the fight went, the more it favored Fundora, but he was also breathing heavy with a busted nose. Um, it was a bloody, bloody fight, um, and uh, it ended with a, a split decision victory for Sebastian Fundora and an upset as he became, as he becomes the unified super welterweight champion of the world at 154 pounds. Big time victory for Fundora. Very tough loss for Tim Zhu. And you know, you gotta hand it to Tim Zhu. I mean, what a class guy. I mean, the guy went after the fight, no excuses. He said, I couldn't see, and it did affect me, but my hat's off to Fundora. He fought his ass off, great fight. We'll see what's next. You know, I mean, I, I gotta, you know, that, that was just, no excuses. Yes, the blood affected me, but he won the fight. I love that attitude. You know, these kind of things happen. That's what he said. These kind of things happen in sports. And well, in boxing, you know, and uh, but what what I've noticed so far is the trend of people saying, you know, oh, Tim Zhu got, you know, if, if, if he didn't get busted open, he would have won. Well, we don't know what would have happened. Yes, we can say that. But let's remember, Sebastian Fundora, you got to hand it to him as well for getting his nose busted and having to fight through that, you know? When you get your nose busted and it's bleeding in there, um, that causes you to be dehydrated, you know? And so Fundora, in my opinion, I mean, I was, I was watching, I, I was listening to a guy who was watching the fight live and, and he was basically saying that he didn't understand why Fundora didn't attack Zoo more 
And I'll tell you why. Tim Zhu's a fucking dangerous puncher. And if you step into his range, you know, you're going to get caught. And we know Fundora already has his last fight prior against Brian Mendoza on his mind where he was dominating and got caught with a wicked punch. That's one. But also, you know, um, when you're sitting there fighting, uh, you know, fighting a, a broken, bloody nose, you're not, you know, going to go just all out because what if you run out of gas and that's the way to stop him? He took advantage of the cut like any fighter would and, you know, jabbed the shit out of Tim Zhu and won, won the fight. So, you know, big ups to Sebastian Fundora. Um, you know, what we do know coming into the fight was that Terrence Bud Crawford was seemingly um, uh, ordered by the WBO and it was, it was even mentioned uh, after the fight that that um, they were going to order Sebastian Fundora to fight Terrence Crawford. Um, I heard today that there's there could be a rematch clause uh, before the Crawford mandatory. So we'll see. We're, we're going to discuss the what's, what's next on both of these guys next week. Um, Isaac Cruz, he'll get a what's next next week. Um, Arizlandi Lara will get one. And then we'll also, uh, uh, Serhei Bohachuk and Brian Mendoza will all get what's next videos next week. You know, and hopefully this week uh, clears things up and gives us a little bit more. But both these guys, class acts, uh, great to see Tim Zhu just go out there like a straight up warrior and fight the way he fought with a ton of heart, taking on a, a guy nine inches taller, nine inch reach advantage on an 11 or 12 days notice. I mean, that's big. You know, that shows a lot of balls on Tim Zhu's part. And then Sebastian Fundora also fighting through the broken nose, uh, achieving his dream of becoming a, a world champion. And uh, he's also at the same time a world champion with his sister. I think that's pretty fucking cool. They're the first ever brother, sister, uh, duo, you know, brother, sister, world champions at the same time. That's fucking great. A great story. And hats off to both these guys. Hats off to Isaac Cruz for the dominance of Roly Romero. And, you know, big ups to Arizlani Lara for a big win. And also big ups to Sergei Bohachuk and a lot of heart shown by Brian Mendoza taking that fight on short notice. So that's it. That's what I got. That's the Zoo versus Fundora Amazon Prime pay-per-view recap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.